basically I'd snapped my Achilles tendon, sat on a couch for a long time and just came up with some really bizarre ideas while on lots of drugs. And one of them was uh, an eight page document of band names and the other one was put on a music festival. Yeah. So I could only play in one band so I thought well I'll put on a music festival. The first venue for us was at the Bannockburn Hotel. Mm -hmm. It's the only place in Cromwell that had a, like an outdoor stage that was kind of not really a stage. It was like a whole bunch of pallets that looked terrible. We had a couple of builders and they um, built us kind of a, a stage that would hold a couple of bands. I was in like a crappy covers band as well and <laughs> we thought well that's a good chance for us to play because no one ever listens to us. <laughs> <laughs> So we kind of just constructed a, a wee lineup that seemed to be pretty cool and we just made it free. <laughs> well, we didn't really know what, what to expect, really. We just kind of thought, well, if we put it on, and in the old Wayne's World kind of theory, if you book them, they will come, you know? Yeah. And hopefully we get some people coming along. And yeah, it did. People came. You know, we had a bit of a hard kind of time in the, in the first two or three years where I don't think anyone really took us seriously when we were ringing them up to come and play in a festival in Cromwell. I think everyone just went, there's no way. The only way to grow it is to kind of pull in headliners and start building it that way, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, so this way is a little bit different to other years in that we're actually getting a lot of acts from outside of the region as well to come down and be part of this and to join us. Hi there, Matt from Concord Dawn here. I'm absolutely fizzing about coming down to Cromwell to play on the 24th of February. A lot of people in Cromwell, you know, when they see bands coming to other areas and they're kind of like, oh, why don't they ever come to Cromwell? And it's like, well, you know, you've got to support what you have. And hopefully by putting something in our own town, then we can support that and then people will be proud of it down the track, you know, however long it goes for. So River Range 2019, what's the lineup looking like? Well. <laughs> <laughs>